because I'm gonna talk about how wait let me fix myself up how I am coming from how I go from here down to an everyday look still without washing uh, my last day was washing was three days ago so this is my third day of styling my hair without wash to maintain it I'm gonna show you how I do this and how I get the look still from when I washed it because with curly hair and mixed hair it's way too hard and sometimes you don't get that same look as that wash day and this is how I try my best to maintain it and not wash it as much and not use as much product and just keep my hair healthy and growing so let's get started when I wake up in the morning I have this on my head I got this from I got this from, I'm going to say Target or Walmart. The silk ones are the best ones to use. I mean, they do have the wraps that you can use when you sleep, but I find these ones the best. Um, so, with my hair being down and curly, I take all my hair and I bend over and I scrunch it up with a clip. You want a loose clip, something that... Um, won't tight be tight around your hair while you're sleeping some people say that's bad but i just say that it ruins the curls that you created when you washed your hair so i'm gonna take this out so when i'm taking this out it's gonna look really crazy because this is day three hair that's going on right now um so you got little crinkles here and there um also it was raining yesterday so that kind of ruined my hair just gonna say like you can tell here, it's like frizz. It's not even the what I did to my hair, the style. But whatever. If it's raining, make sure you have like an umbrella. Even when I styled my hair, and even though it's natural with the styling product, the way that these curls have dried, they will get ruined in the rain. So make sure you have an umbrella or sorry, some sort of cap or hood. So. I go in with water bottle, got this from Target in the traveling section, dollar, easy. Just a little bit, you don't want a lot because you don't want to ruin the curl pattern you created on the first day. So just missed it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to take my Cantu, this one's the Argan Oil version but you can also get the regular version. The Argan Oil, I don't see much of a difference, it just smells better, it smells so good. And this is what I use when I wash my hair. I love this stuff. I only use two products on my head after I wash. And we'll get to the second product. And I'll show you in another video how, when I when it's wash day, maybe in a couple days, how I wash my hair, how I dry my hair. Um, and actually my hair has grown six a lot. Like it's all the way down. Below. and it used to be when I straightened it my collarbone eight months ago and I started doing natural hair while well, I used to do weaves to grow my hair out because um I did a blowout ruined my hair chopped everywhere like my hair fell out and my hair was down to here which is another story <laughs> if you want to hear that tell me in the comments below but that was crazy so then I started doing weaves helped my hair grow a lot um and so yeah now I'm here trying to just have it grow a little bit longer because I want my hair to be like the natural curls that's all the way down to here it's so pretty so I'm working towards that but so I've been just taking this can too and like I said I misted my hair a little bit so it, it, the product goes in better and I just put it on my fingertips not a lot you barely even see it not a lot right and you just want to do strands strands that you feel that are like crimpy looking um so like up here I'm gonna push that down pull it and right now it probably looks straight and if you're like ew that looks gross which is fine but it will 
um, it will curl back up once it dries, the mist dries and the leave-in conditioner dries from putting it in. So that side's done. We're going to do the next side. Okay, so see how this one's a little messed up? It's a little up. I do have different um, different lengths on the top of my head. I mean, the blowout still like ruined my hair completely, but it's gotten better. Like this is all the same, but this obviously stunk growth because when you have a weave, you have leave out on the top if you want. If you don't have like a closure, you have some leave out because my hair looked exactly the same as the weave I had. It was just longer. Um, so this was always straightened or like a little bit wavy so obviously the growth on this is not as long as the rest but you can't really tell and I don't mind it's fine you kind of just have to go with it when your hair gets ruined <laughs> I mean there's only so many like crying doesn't help being sad doesn't help about your hair so it just is what it is. It used to look way worse than this. I'll probably show pictures. It was terrible. Like the straight was here. And then I had like all of this was like one inch. All of this burnt the hell out of my hair. It was the Brazilian blowout. Never doing that. Um, and I was like, I think I was in like 10th grade. You know, because you want to have straight hair. And I just completely ruined it. So I'm never doing that again. <laughs> um, so I might actually go back in with a little bit more spritz on the top. Just to help. I think it dried a little bit. Still just using Cantu. And just pulling the top ones down. Because that's really all that matters right now. I mean the bottom ones are a little crinkly. But they're really not that bad. And like I said, this is day three hair. So, see, see what I mean? That's all from, right. But right now it actually looks really good. And when I do my makeup and stuff, I will let you guys see. I'm just going to the gym, so I'll show you guys later how it holds up during the day. But it holds up really well. So I've been using this. This is everything. And they used to only, like, when I first heard about this, um, it was only in like gas stations and dollar stores, the extreme wet line, and now you can find it at Target. I don't know if it's at every Target, but at my Target, I found it, and I love this stuff. I will not use anything else. This stuff has the best hold. Like I said, it's called the extreme wet line, um, and <laughs> look, and I was so paranoid that it was going to sell out because it was only like four, four um, tubs of this. That I bought two tubs at the same time because I, because I was like, oh no, they're probably gonna sell out. So, yeah, but this this lasts me forever. I've had this, and I'm not even on the second tub yet. This is the first tub from September, and I use a lot of this, guys. So, like, this is gonna last you, especially with my routine. This will last you. The Cantu, however, this. Uh, I probably buy a new one like every month so it's like five washes um, and putting this in which isn't too bad but um, both of these products are the best products I use you don't have to spend an arm and like this is five dollars and then this extreme wet line this huge tub is five dollars ten dollars for products for one month and three months which is amazing because you have those products that are what like 20 to 30 dollars and i feel like for my hair especially mixed they do the same thing if not worse especially when it comes to gel if it's the high-end gel i've tried high-end gels and it doesn't work like this one this one is the best it hasn't like it hasn't broken my hair ruined my hair my hair is still growing like crazy um and this smells good and it does the same thing I feel like. I've tried the Pillow Curls, um, Miss Joann's I think. Pillow Curls, I've tried. I've tried it all, especially the ones in the Target area of the African American section. Tried it all. 
So <clears throat> I definitely recommend this, especially if you're on a budget. Like this, these, and you can even tell with, with some of these curls, like these curls right here, you're probably like, oh, that's cause she's mixed. No, my hair is an afro. Like if I don't do anything to it right when I get out of the shower, it looks better than this when I get out of the shower, obviously. So does everyone's. But if it dries, it's an afro. It has, it does not have these curls. So I would recommend these products. I'm going to show you how I do my hair after I get out of the shower. Um, it's super easy. It's like an hour. And the brush I use and everything. Um, a lot of people, like I don't even use a wide tooth comb when I brush my hair. They say, oh, you won't have breakage. But it's like, for me, it doesn't even work. Like, because I want all of it, like, to be no knots whatsoever. So I use different brushes. See, so, like, everything doesn't work for everybody. Um, I've just been using Extreme Wet Line. I've just been going in the little parts again. But what you want to do with this, if your part is a little effed up right here, you're just going to want to glide it down and push it the way that you want it like so and that will create the part I don't ever when I get out of the shower I don't ever use a comb and make a part I just kind of do it myself like a natural part I like it right here if you don't want it right here and you want it on this side it doesn't matter you just do the same with the gel you just put it on both sides and flatten it if you want to do edges I would do edges um not crazy edges but you know like push them down like that um, I'm just going to the gym, so I'm not going to do my edges crazy. Um, but yeah, this is how I do my, oh, my eye. This is how I do my hair when it is not wash day. I usually wash every four to five days. Unless I have like a special event going on, then I wash my hair. But it's all in how you sleep. And you want, when you put your hair back up, you want to dip your head down and put your hair up all the way above your head and I use a clip all the way on the top and then cover it with a bonnet you're gonna look crazy but it's okay it works and if you need like something to hold this down my tip is I always use a headband over it like a super tight headband tight headband so this stays on all night um, but yeah, this is how I just wake up and do it. Um, and like I said, this will last four to five days depending on like humidity or rain or whatever. And even so, like if you go longer than five days, just put your hair up and it looks so pretty. Mind you, if you put your hair up, you're going to have to put your hair up the other days because it will not look the same as the first three. But yeah, that's it, and I will come out with a video on how I have my hair like this and how I maintain it and how it's been growing so well. And so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye. <laughs>